in this question, we have to solve for x. So what I think we can do, whenever you get a situation like this where you've got these x's in the exponents, then let's typically, let's break this one up, okay? So that would become two to the x plus, now this one, let's say for example, you have a to the, I don't know, b plus c. Then we know that that can be written as a to the b times by a to the c, right? That's just writing it in the, like, backwards. So this can be written as two to the two times two to the negative x equals to 17 over two. What we do now is take out a common factor. Now, when you take out a common factor here, you always wanna take, oh, in fact, we can't really take out a common factor. It'll be a bit weird if we have this negative over here. So what I think we can do is let's take this down to the bottom, okay? So we can take that down to the bottom. Uh, two to the two is just four. Let's just leave that as four. And then this can go down to the bottom. So it would look like that, okay? And then like that. Now all of a sudden we have a fraction. So to get rid of that fraction, we're gonna get a common denominator. So your common denominator is just going to be, or well, 17 over two, let's just write that, let's just be clever with that one and let's just write that as 8.5. Then we don't have to really worry about any common denominators there. Or well, we don't have to worry about taking that two into account. Okay, so now the lowest common denominator is just going to be this over here. So that will just be two to the x. Okay, so what that means is that we're gonna have to multiply this part by two to the x and this part by two to the x because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. This we won't have to do anything because it already has the common denominator. And then this one we're gonna have to multiply by two to the x and then this one by two to the x. Remember this is just eight comma five, it's not eight times five. Okay, so over here, be careful. Don't change that to a four. Remember, if you have a to the three times a to the two, then you add the exponents. So if you have two to the x times two to the x, then you say two, you don't say four, you say two, and then you add the exponents. So x plus x is two x. Whoopsie, let's write that better, two x. Okay, so that's gonna become two to the two x plus four equals, 8,5 times uh, 2 to the x. Now we can take everything to the left hand side. 2 to the 2x um, minus 8,5 times 2 to the x plus 4 equals to 0. And now this is actually some type of trinomial. What is a trinomial actually? A trinomial is whenever this exponent is double this exponent. Can you see that? Whenever that exponent, whenever this one is double this one, then it's a trinomial. For example, if you have x squared minus 3x minus 4, then this exponent is double that exponent over there. So what some learners like to do now is they use the k method. So we can say let um, let this one, the smaller one, don't let the double one, let the smaller one, which is 2 to the x, let that equal to k. So then what we can do is if we move everything up here, we can say that two to the two x is the same as two to the x to the two, right? See what I did there? I just rewrote this as that. It's the same thing because if you had to multiply these, you would just get two x again. And then we can say minus 8.5 or 8 comma five and then times two to the x plus four equals zero. Okay, so now we've got two to the x equals k, so I can go replace this, and I can go replace that with a k now. So that's gonna be k squared minus eight comma five k plus four equals zero. Now, I'm just gonna solve this as a normal trinomial now using the quadratic formula. Okay, so you know the quadratic formula, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I'm just gonna quickly type that all in my calculator, okay? Oh, it actually gives nice answers. If you do this, uh, you get k equals to eight or k equals to a half. Now that's not the answer. Uh, that's just the value of k, but we're trying to find the value of x. So what we do now is we just substitute back into here. So we can say two to the x is equal to eight, and then we can go solve that one. And then we can say two to the x is equal to a half. Because remember we said here that two to the x is equal to k, 
but then k is 8 or a half. So what I can do is change 8 to uh, 2 to the power of 3, like that, and then the 2's cancel, so x would be equal to 3, so that's our first answer. And then for this one, all you do is you just take the 2 up to the top, so it becomes 2 to the negative 1. That's the same as a half, right? You can check it on your calculator if you need to. So now, we can cancel the 2's on both sides, and so we simply end up with x equals negative 1.